Hi, my name is Larry. I'm one of the sales engineers here at Multi-Wing America. And today I'm going to discuss the four different options for mounting a fan on a shaft using a taper lock bushing. The different options that I'm going to present will allow you to change the axial position of the fan in your application to either move the fan farther away from an obstruction to avoid a blade strike or to position the fan appropriately in the center of the venturi to give you the most efficient airflow. The bushing is inserted into the boss. The boss is the machined part that's attached to the center of the hub. In this case, you can see that the boss is attached to the air discharge side of the fan. So that's option one. Option two would be to attach it to the air intake side of the fan. Again, changing those will change the axial position of the fan. Options three and four have to do with how we machine the boss to receive the bushing. In this case, the boss is going to stick out on your right hand side of the fan. This is a standard taper boss, so the bushing is inserted from the opposite side of the fan, and the, then the boss sticks out. The other option is a reverse taper boss. In this case, you can see that the boss and the bushing would both be on your right hand side. If you fully engage the shaft through the bushing, you can see that this would change the axial position of the, of the fan quite a bit. And then by positioning the boss on either the air intake or air discharge side, that gives you even more flexibility. What we've done with the reverse taper boss is that it actually has six holes machined in it. Three, three of these are threaded holes, three of these are clearance holes. When you install a reverse taper boss on a shaft, if you need to have the fan as far away from the, the motor as possible, you fully engage the shaft on the bushing, and then you'll be able to insert the bushing bolts through clearance holes in the, in the boss into the threaded holes of the bushing and draw the, motor, draw the bushing tight from the non-motor side. The threaded holes would be used for removal of the bushing in the future. So those are the four different options that we have. If this is a new application that you're working on, you can contact one of your multi-wing sales engineers and they'll help you figure out what's the best configuration for your application. Thanks for watching today. Have a great day.